Let me say this. We're not talking about legalism. We're not talking about putting you, me under bondage. All we're asking. You know, David was a man after God's own heart. And all he did is he realized something. You know, David realized certain things. You know, for example, David knew that it wasn't just animal sacrifices. Do you know that? The Bible tells us that he, even though he was under those sacrifices, in his heart he knew that there was, it was the heart. He knew. I believe David, it wasn't legalism to David, but I believe David prayed a prayer and it was a prayer to God, help me be mindful. When he said, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in my sight. He was just asking God to help him be mindful of those things. And that's all we're saying here, God. The Spirit of God will help us. And I know sometimes, listen, you know, there's a phrase in sports and even in fighting and different things. You might have to bite down on your mouthpiece. Because there may be things that are so tough it comes to you. I've seen athletes, especially fighters, they tell them they just bite down on their mouthpiece. Bless God. Well, there's times you may have to bite down on your mouthpiece not to say something you don't need to say. And the Holy Spirit will show you that but because everything in you. Why? Because you don't realize it, but the adversary is there trying to attack you because he's vying for your mouth. Because that's the only way you can give him authority. Because he don't have any. Do you see what I'm saying? It's not legalism. It's life. And we can, we can turn that stern wheel. And you know what? And we can start heading in another direction than where we was before.